Hello my Sock Universe. Well, this is the kind of video that I hoped I will not be making, but uh, Jersey Choice is definitely um, affected by the topic um, Black and Ajax. We're talking about the, the Eredivisie is the first season that is basically ended because the government said there will be no um, no company, no events happening uh, with uh, many spectators uh, until uh, September 1st or something like that. Um, so yeah, uh, it's not only affects concert, it basically said also no, there will be no soccer games. Absolutely no soccer games. We don't want to have that. It's too much risk. Um, in Belgium, and the difference is, you, when you recall my video on Belgium, I was actually quite, I don't want to say happy, but I understood it because there they have a second phase. In the Netherlands, we're in the middle, middle of a really tight title race with Ajax and AZ being on top of the table, level on points. And there is no, you cannot really uh, call the race. So, the championship is abandoned. I don't want to say the season is cancelled. And basically, uh, the Dutch Soccer Federation said, yeah, we will have no champion. We also will have no relegated team. We also will have no promoted team because of that. Uh, and for the European spots, we follow UEFA uh, suggestions that first place team is Ajax. So they will go in, I think, right into the um, uh, Champions League playoffs. Second place team is AZ, who will go into the second uh, Champions League qualifying round. Uh, which is a blow, because that doesn't guarantee a European spot. Uh, then they had Feyenoord um, is in there, although there is no cup final being played. Um, PSV and Willem Dwe go into the Europa League. And this causes a whole lot of trouble because uh, not all, especially from Utrecht. Utrecht would have played the cup final against Feyenoord. That would be the chance to go to Europe. And also Utrecht has one game less than Willem Dwe. And with a win, they would overtake Willem Dwe. And the Utrecht club boss is not happy and definitely wants to uh, go the legal way. Honestly, I think there's no chance because I mean uh, it seemingly was voted on in the club in the KNVB conference. Uh, it's Pretty shitty way of ending the championship. I also have to say I um, This will make a few people in Liverpool probably nervous although I think the Premier League basically said almost as much as even if the season is abandoned Liverpool will be champions and I think there will be no, no one will really be saying something against that. Uh, but yeah, this could be a model, let's say, for Italy, Spain and so on, uh, where things do not look as promising. I hate it. I actually think that, I understand, I think this is of all the bad decisions, this is the best bad decision that they could make. But given the chance, it is just the only, the only way. Even think, then saying, yeah, let's play the cup final on 1st of, 1st of September. No, you don't. No, you cannot do that. I mean, uh, what does it help you? Uh, because William Dwe, or, I mean, yeah, if Utrecht wins the cup final, they would go straight into the group stage, I would think. And then, uh, but then Feyenoord has to play a little bit low as far as I understand it. So it just doesn't feel right. I know it's the only thing you, it's really, of all the bad solutions, it's, it's the most reasonable one, but it's not a good one uh, by any account. Uh, another thing, there was a poll in Germany and uh, representative samples and a majority of people in the poll said having the Bundesliga continue is, should not, they are not in favor of that. Uh, they fear that the test will take resources away from people that need it, which uh, from what I hear is not that much of a problem anymore, especially in Austria and Germany. In Germany. 
Uh, so yeah, we have to see how that is going. I think the, they are absolutely, the Bundesliga is absolutely set to go. They have a concept and every, everything they're even thinking early May, maybe a little bit later. Same thing in Austria, there are very positive signals that the concept that was given to the government, the government already said, it looks quite kind of, kind of good there. Uh, basically, everyone that's allowed in the stadium and that there should be no more, it's around 200, 200 people. Players will be the red group that is consistently tested, orange is TV personnel and you know, stuff around and so on, and um, which has occasional testing and then yellow are uh, press, which have to stay away. So uh, for each group, there are some distancing measures and this seems like good. Also, they say, um, that if a player is tests positive, only that player need, need, needs to be removed. Um, because even if they're tr are training in small groups, then everyone should have it. So they would only remove that one player uh, from play, which is also something that uh, came up in this poll in Germany that people are not very happy. Other things I know Poland uh, is planning end of May to go ahead. Uh, I think Austria is planning mid could happen middle of May, maybe towards the end of May. And as I said, German, German is looking forward. And in Italy, I don't think that much is going to happen. Of course, uh, Lotito says we need to play as soon as possible. Government is not very much in favor of that. So let's see where that, that's going. Well, that's it for me today. Kind of a shortish update video. I'm sorry, uh, Dutch soccer fans. S really, really, really sucks, and I even I think that Alkma has a point. Why is Ajax uh, put ahead of us? Yes, they have the rule that goal difference counts. That's it. One the head to head is twice one against Ajax, so I think they also would have a point. Uh, there should be a playoff if a level eleven point, but that's not gonna happen. So what can 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 do that? You go by the valid rules, so it sucks. I think for everyone involved, it sucks. Uh, I actually hope that Ajax is not going to sue that we should have the title because they have no case for a title uh, at the moment. And I'm pro Ajax, but I don't think they have a case for the title. Anyway, drop a comment below what you think about the situation. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.